have been dying to see one of these. Oh, there he goes. No. <laughs> oh, it was a big frilled neck lizard. He was sunbaking. It's got to be quicker. He's a lot quicker than me, so. How funny is it where they run? They're like. It's early morning and we're heading out to go for a fish. We haven't been for a fish in a while. The weather last night when we checked was like, yeah, partly cloudy, partly sunny, chance of a thunderstorm in the afternoon and there's a thunderstorm right now. There's been lightning strikes and everything. Did you just have a stroke? <laughs> yeah, there's been lightning strikes and everything this morning and we're really hoping it doesn't stay like this while we're out in the water, but we might have been a bit of rain because it's so hot at the moment. Yeah. So where we're going, there's like heaps of little islands and stuff and like there's really deep channels. So I'm hoping to get some big fish in there. If not, it should just be nice to be out in the water. And we're finally getting out. Anyway, check out this storm, it's hectic. Baby Mackie in like a meter of water, if that. It looked like about right here, like that head. Ew! Good oh, spot. Look, there it is. Oh, it might be a little barracuda. Hey, we'll try hooking back up. We'll probably go it. Oh, look at this water. It'd be a crime not to jump in. So we're hoping to get. There's a big couple of blue bone hanging around, and all this rocky outcrop usually hides your blue bones and your coral trout. So we're casting into the rocks and hopefully something will come up. We might even get a cod. But um, so far we've had a barracuda take it. And fingers crossed, there's a trout hanging around because that is our favorite fish. And blue bone. And blue bone, but I think a bit of a trout man myself. Oh, something's... Yeah! Oh! He's still going. Yeah, good. Keep him going. My feet. Oh, I didn't... He didn't have it. They're there. It actually is so hot. I can't even... Oh, I can't even sit down. It's about 40 degrees. I'm so... Ooh, look at the sweat on Mick. <laughs> No, I just, well, there's crocs and a fair few sharks around. More so crocs, I reckon, because it's mating. So they're moving. Woo, it's hot. Nah. Oh, the water's so good. Ah. Yeah, that's the, that's the honey hole. Oh. Oh. I don't think that made an actual difference. Yeah, no. You're on like when you're wet. Um, let's. Go, oh, Mick. Real. Shark, very sharky. Bring it up. That's very sharky. That is shark. Reel it in. It reel it in. Yeah, it's definitely a shark. 
Might maybe Ray or something. Huh? Oh, neutral. Yeah. Ah, that was big. Back, Woo. How close was it? Oh, it was close. I know. Did you see it? It's feeling. Oh, yeah. Go a bit that way, me. What? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. You're kidding. Oh no, still on. Oh, he spat it. He spat it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he's still on. Oh no, he's coming straight for me. Yeah, neutral, neutral. Oh. It's like a Spanish. Uh, he ran with it. The bloke. Any colour yet? Turn the motor off. Where is he? Oh. Here he is, here he is. What is he? I think it's a Mackie. It's a Mackie. Oh, it's a tuna. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna bleed. Hang on, hang on, let me bring him in. Get the net. Hang on, hang on. Ready? Hang on, hang on. Get him off the boat. Ready? I'm bringing him in. Up, 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 big up. Woo! Nice, babe. Woo! Yeah, Trina. <laughs> oh, how good. He fought the bloke. Oh, sashimi on the beach? What do you reckon? Yes. Are they good? Yeah. Oh. Wee. Up top. No, Woo! No, no. He's, he's a sexy looking fish. Oh, I'm going to keep him still. Yeah. He was just in. <laughs> Be really careful. Don't drop him. Look at him. Oh. oh. Look at him. So beautiful. We got a storm coming in from over. I don't know. I think it's north west, and then a storm coming in from the north east. We are extremely burnt, and I have one dreadlock. Just one, not two. <laughs> Just one whole big dreadlock. It was a shark or not? It's a shark. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit it straight away. 
It screamed. Ugh. Took the lure, yeah. Bugger. You're in neutral. Film well. Go, 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 pull, 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 pull. Nothing. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Maybe. Nice, McGee. Woo! Colors. He's awesome. He's just on, look. <laughs> yeah, nice. Woo! is 4.29 meters and it is so easy to tow to places it's at that length where anything bigger probably wouldn't work anything smaller you can't really get to certain spots so perfect size and uh yeah really easy to take to remote places there's lightning on here man whoa we're out <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can't put that on. <laughs> that was huge. Alright. Alright. Have you guys start. had any run ins with sharks? Not major sharks, like small reef sharks. Just reef sharks, yeah. We've had like big tigers come up to the boat and stuff before. Yeah, not while we're in the water, which is always a good thing. Comfortable with that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Five things that you'll never go camping without. Oh, that's hard. What are your five things? Um, fairy lights. Really? <laughs> fairy lights are the best. Yeah, sure. They make everything way better. A gas cooker. Look at the road, please. So, a gas cooker. Well, swag, obviously. Yeah. Um, a, a comfy, comfy cam chair. That makes such a big difference. <laughs> See that, <mate? laughs> Uh, a comfy cam chair, what else? Oh, comfy mattress. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, I'm in demand. Conditioner? Because <laughs> <laughs> I always get dreadlocks. Like, uh, I actually get the most hectic dreadlocks every day. Alright, keep going. Um, swag, chair, fire lighters. Kids with me. You sure? <laughs> One day. One day. Hopefully in the near future. Let's go put a ring on it. Get that knee dirty boy with a big rock. <laughs> right, what's the plan for Slice of Bliss in the next two years? What's the plan? Just what is the plan? Doing this. <laughs> Just continue going out and do stuff. We do have some things in the works at the moment, which is pretty exciting. I'm hoping to get it possibly ready towards the start of next. I just tell them. No. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, towards the start of, of next year. Or so in a couple months. Yeah, hopefully in a couple months. It's just yeah, we're doing some stuff with it now. But yeah, we don't really have a plan. We just want to keep doing what we're doing. And we just have fun making videos. Yeah. Like it's so fun when you get to relive your like relive the most. It's a visual time. diary. It's a visual diary. Yeah, but like you get to relive that excitement and yeah. everything, and it's yeah. so nice to remember what you've already seen. Very true. Where do you both see yourselves in three years? Yeah, <laughs> in the bush. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely in the bush. We are. We've come to like kind of being isolated. <laughs> Corona was a blessing. Corona was the best thing that happened to us. Not everyone. Yeah. <laughs> How do you rate the Amarok and how many Ks are on it now? The Amarok, the old girl. So, the Amarok actually, it's been, I'm actually, yeah, I do love this thing. It's only, it's a two litre, but we've been to places where, you know, you ex wouldn't expect this car to go to. And we've also pulled out a lot of 79 series 
in this thing throughout my time. But it's six years old. Oh, sorry, it's eight years old. I've had it for six years. It's got 212k on the clock. Bought it at 75. But um, yeah, it's so comfy as well, and it's the biggest Ute in its class in terms of width. So there's a lot of space in here. We're not, I love it. You got so much room to yeah. just like stretch out, and I'm like such a fidgeter and I move yeah. all the time, so it's just perfect. We're not um, small people either, so yeah. fits us and fits the dogs, so it's really good. What video editing software do you use? Adobe Premiere Pro, best thing you can ever use. So what? easy. What do you use to edit your photos? You got that one. Lightroom. I use Lightroom. I'm in charge of editing the photos yep. and doing all of that jazz. Yep. Lightroom's just really easy because you can just fix everything. Well, not fix, but you can enhance everything. Yep. Most of the time, we don't even apply that crazy edits. It's just like making everything pop and like try and make it. Because I feel like these days, when you're taking a photo on your phone or you're taking a photo on a camera, we're no professionals. We just take a photo. You're not getting what you're seeing in front of you. And so we try and make each photo like as real as possible as in what we saw out there. So sometimes it, yeah, it is a, it's basically enhancing the photo to make it look just as incredible as it is to the eye. Current location. Here. Yep. If you guys can guess where this is. Is it hard traveling as a couple and being on top of each other 24-7? Uh, <laughs> sometimes it can, for the most part, 98% of the times it's wicked because you're literally traveling with your best friend and you get to do all this kind of stuff with your best friend. But When shit goes wrong, it's always Jack's fault. <laughs> yeah. It costs right. us lots of money. Nah. <laughs> sometimes you butt heads, but what's a relationship without butting heads? Keeps it interesting. <laughs> At my expense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Find all the good spots you go to, word of mouth or happen upon it. Upon a lot of it. Some of it's word of mouth. A lot of it is me on Google Images just scrolling the whole coastline and seeing if there's access into places. Yeah, yeah. No. that's what Jack loves all that geography side of things. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah. Where are we going? Okay, cool. That's, <laughs> that's all you got to do. What cameras do you shoot with? We shoot with the GoPro Hero 8. Black. Hero Black? Is that the same? GoPro. There you go. go, that's our knowledge on cameras. Yeah. <laughs> GoPro Hero 8 Black. Oh, there you go. Oh, and a DJI Mavic Pro. Yeah. Do you work or are you full time travelers? We do work. Yeah. We just go camping and stuff on weekends. It just depends on what everyone, everyone likes to go out and like go party and socialise, whereas we like to go out bush and not socialise and fish and stuff. No, we, like, we do like to socialise, we just love going out and doing things. Yeah. <laughs> we're not like hermit <laughs> No, we're not. Any tips for setting up something like this? Just do it. Just don't worry about what everyone else thinks. The worst thing that can happen is you have wicked photos of your trips. That's yes. the worst thing that can happen. Or you get bored. That's the point. Yeah. Just what? do it. It's like, you know how like people start things like, oh yeah, yeah, and then like, no, I'm not bored with this anymore. Yeah. That's the worst thing that can happen. Yeah. What's the Spotify playlist called? Oh, I got heaps. So if you want some, uh, some of our music, we'll type link, in. Um, We'll put in the description below Jack's yeah. Spotify link and there's heaps of playlists there. Um, when are you putting out more presets? Soon? When? Soon? Yeah, I reckon. Soon. I've got them all ready to go, I just need to launch them. Yeah, easy. Um, I'll put the link in the description below again. What are you guys doing for work at the moment? So. Mick and I are working in a remote Aboriginal community at the school, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a, it's um one of the most rewarding things that I think we've done in a long time. Yeah. Or ever, actually. And we love it. We'll probably be out there for a, for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, what we're doing. It's the best. The kids are just so fun. Yeah. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. 
If you have any more questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you're liking what you're watching, like, subscribe, share. Any support would be greatly appreciated. Cool. Woo! Cheers. That's it. Look at my band line. Ah. <laughs>